<laughs> Has it appeared yet? Oh, there I am. Hi everyone. I'm going to talk relatively quietly today. So let me just move my microphone closer because it's 7 a.m. on a Saturday morning. So forgive me. Um, these are also the very first words I've said out of today because of the fact that it is 7.01 a.m. And has anyone prepared for a live stream like 10 hours before before? Because I, I did my hair last night and then and then went to sleep because I thought if it's somewhat styled, I can wake up and it will be fine. Um, so there's that. Hi, everyone in the chat. It's lovely to see you all here. It's a very exciting day. What's my favorite set out of the whole wave? I feel like it has to be the Chamber of Secrets. Also, I went and looked at the prices again for Australia. I just, I want to cry. I mean, most of my Australians are going to be asleep. But here's something I want to communicate to you guys right now. And I feel like this kind of got missed in my probe droid review. Remember that little thing? Wait, where is it? There it is. Remember that thing? And I was like, this thing's flimsy. I literally knocked off an arm the other day trying to pick up something next to it. Um, that set's very overpriced for us in Australia. And while I did get sent it from LAN, that did have a major aspect on my overall thoughts of the set. Because if I had purchased that myself and that was the quality of the set, I wouldn't be very happy. So that's going to come across in a lot of the reviews I do for this Harry Potter set, whether I'm purchasing it myself or I get sent it through LAN. I'm taking into account the price. It's a major, major thing for me because I went back. It's not going to be the last set we talk about, but specifically if I go on to Lego Shop at home right now and I go and look at the Hogwarts flying lesson, turns out the price wasn't a typo. It's $50. That's criminal. The price per piece ratio on that is 19 cents compared to something like the Polyjuice Potion Mistake, which I feel like is a reasonably priced set. Like, yes, it did get increased for us. It, it was 30 last year. Now it's 33. That one's at 15 cents. So it's a lot more generous. Hopefully Len sends you all them. Exactly. Are they more expensive because of shipping? No. See, that's the, this is my point that I made an entire price video about. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. It's called like Lego's pricing problem or something like that. So the flying lesson for you guys in the US is the same price as the like Hogwarts moments books. I would go and pull them out, but like my mystery machines in the way, which for us are $40. So theoretically those two sets should line up, but they don't. And it is something that I want to like ask Lan about whether or not they'll be able to give me an answer is a completely different story but it is something that I want to ask them all so so that's fun also they didn't show us Crab and Goyle's face so we will need to go back and reference uh good old shop at home I'm so annoyed that they did that like, that was an important photo and they didn't give it to us. Actually, let me add it to my little, let me add it now before I actually flick over to the sets. Whoops, that was loud. Alrighty, here we go. Let's, let's chat about these. Hang on, I need to add my, just my photo that I just took. Please hold on one second. I'm good at this. I'm a professional streamer. Guys, I spent so long setting this up. You'll be really proud of me. Okay. I know what Ash got. Can I say it out loud? Am I able to? Oh, Shang-Chi. Yes, he got Shang-Chi. Yeah, I did make a full slideshow ready. And look, I've like set up my stream deck <laughs> with like little photos for everything. I've got slideshows. I've got different scenes. So ready, we go to me. If it's going to work. Do I have to have it open? I literally had this working yesterday. Now if this breaks on me, I'm going to be really sad. Oh, <gasps> it's not working. No. Don't do that to me. Actually, don't. I spent so long on this. Scenes. Bathroom. Wait, I'm on the bathroom. Fluffy. Well, I spent all that effort for literally nothing. Anyway, so we have, first up, 
the potions bathroom. Bear with me as well because I do have to like go and zoom in on everything. So it is going to take a while. Now, I like this set. Out of all of the small sets that we've gotten, that being, I'm going to count the Rise of Voldemort, even though for Australians it was a different price. We had the Room of Requirement. We had the Expecto Patronum. And we had Arag... No, Aragog's Lair was a different price point. Is it just those three? I think so. I think this is one of the better ones. I think this is like on par with the Room of Requirement. I think the figures are better than the Room of Requirement. Like you get a whole new face print for Hermione. Even Ron and Harry have different face prints, which is amazing. I love that. And the fact that you get Crab and Goyle, which not like we can even... Oh, look, there they are because Lego didn't give me a photo of it. Let's just zoom in on them real quick. Because that's something that I didn't actually get to show you all in my video. Look, there they are. Hello. Crab and Goyle. Fantastic. Look. And I'm going to talk about this first because this is something we didn't cover in my video. Goyle. Looks good. Looks like Goyle. I can see it. Okay. Thoughts, everyone? Do we like Goyle? Do you think they'll make more of Hogsmeade suit? I hope so. I really hope so. They look adorable. Asian Goyle looks adorable. All right. We should get spiked cupcakes with this set. That's true, actually. They should have used the cupcake friends pieces. <gasps> that would have been good. Yes. Everyone's saying yes. All right. Well, I don't like crab. Okay. For a number of reasons. Firstly, let's just zoom in some more on his little face. His face... Mm. I mean, I get what they were trying to do. I don't think it worked. It, yeah, thank you, FND. That was literally what I was about to say. Go, Crab's hair doesn't match at all. And looking at the movie, his haircut is the same as Victor Crumb. While I feel like Victor Crumb's hair wasn't that accurate, I feel like in this case it would have been. They should have used a dark brown falcon Victor Crumb piece. Like... They shouldn't have used Neville's hair. Even Neville shouldn't use Neville's hair. I just... This... It's, it's not right. It's really not right. I don't like that. But I like the fact that they are in this set. And personally, I plan on getting two of these. Ones so that I can expand the bathroom and, like, have pieces and all that. But also so I can have Crab and Goyle as separate figures and things like that. Also, I just wanted to extend, like, the toilet. Like, look at the build. It's pretty cute. Like, I love the sink. I love that that flips out. We'll come back to that later. That plays a part in the Chamber of Secrets. Like, the whole sink flips up. I love the design. The basins are pretty cute. I do wish it kind of, like, went up a bit more at, like, the top. I think I would have preferred that one. I also don't understand what this... Where is it? What this piece is here. Oops, I grabbed the wrong layer. <laughs> what this like bar piece at the top is like I've never seen that before is that a new piece why does it look like that why in some images can you just completely remove it I mean I guess it like gives you more space and things like that it's for garages oh garages that makes sense I've never seen that piece before in my life and I'm really glad that I didn't say that that's a new piece in my video now because y'all would have got mad at me. Um, but I like it. I, I do. And look, 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 look. We have, I think a lot of people miss this, but there's the Technic pieces on the sides that you can combine it with your old sets. Although because it doesn't have a roof, maybe you would have to do some modding. Like you could put this next to your room of requirement, I think really easily and just take off like the little studded pieces at the top. Do you think this thing's going to open the chamber? They can. They can. My favorite part, personally, is the toilet. Like, I think you all heard me in my video that, like, there's a Lego toilet and I'm hyped about that. Cat Hermione as well. She looks adorable. But I'm just excited that we're getting, like, new Harry and Ron faces and it's in a cheap set. Like, this, like, this is really solid. And the problem with this line is because it's different and it's a different system, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people who don't buy everything. Like, this is a set where you where I feel like most people won't buy everything. And that's purely because like this is an entirely new system that's just going to stand on its own. I personally prefer this system, but like, yeah, see, like it's missing on the box. They literally take it away 
in this image as well and that image it's there but like in the product image it's there the toilet's better than the golden minifigures exactly but like what's everyone's thoughts do we like this on its own this is a diorama on its own that is true logo but and i feel like for that reason it stands above some of the other ones but also it doesn't have any sand green so i feel like people are going to be more likely to buy this set especially because you've got Cat Hermione, like that's a unique figure. And even if you like don't want Harry and Ron, you've got Crab and Goyle. That's like two, that's three unique figures basically that you're getting. So yes, from me, pretty cool. Love this set. I have to go, okay, bye Mustafa. Mustafa, I stuffed that up. It's okay on its own. I prefer the Quidditch one, Moaning Myrtle. Well, she's in the CMF. So I mean, if you get, if you buy her too, then it's 25 US dollars. Luckily I've got multiples, so it's all right. The day one buy for me. I mean, why not? So, so the overall gist I'm getting is I really like it and, or it's okay. I mean, no one hates this set, so that's good. Ready? Let's see if my my stream deck's still not working. This is this is really, really sad. I wonder if I can fix that real quick. Hold on. Come on. Oh, it worked. Yes. All right. I did it. I fixed it. Fluffy. Let's go. All right. So, <laughs> more be here for a while. Now, I'm kind of glad. I read through as many of the comments on my reveal video as I like, could today. Chat is moving so fast. I know. Oh, listen. Listen, fam. Everyone's cheering. Five out of 10, honestly, Ryan, same. Right, Ash loves Fluffy. All right, I don't. I I really don't. And I wonder, did I open this in a tab so I can like add some more of the photos into here? Yeah, all right, I've got one more. All right, I can add that one. Please give me two seconds while I add more photos. Why is my computer so loud right now? I really don't appreciate that. All right. Fluffy. Let me just add these to the slideshow. See, look how good I am. Like, this is an efficient system I'm running today. Alrighty. So, I, 4 out of 10, Fluffy is so bad. 10 out of 10, not my favorite. Now, Fluffy, everyone, we all know. On this channel, I've talked about it before. It's something that I've wanted. I've wanted a new Fluffy because that old piece was amazing. I really liked it. Let's focus on the positive to start with. I love Fluffy's left head and his right head. I think the head molds look great. I really like the heart build as well. I think the heart build looks really nice. Like, I wish it wasn't yellow. I feel like the yellow just, it doesn't look quite right. Oh dear, I'm covering myself up there. There we go. The heart in yellow doesn't look great, but it looks good. All right, I like the harp. I love the robed figures, even though they're the same figures. I love robes. I'm here for it. Fluffy's heads. The build from the exterior looks boring. Now, for me in Australia, this is the same price as the night bus, which is $70. Price-wise, piece-wise, kind of makes sense. But looking at the build, it doesn't feel like much. Like, it's very bland from the outside. I love this printed crest on the outside and I love the railing. I love how there's some rock formations, but this needs to be combined with other pieces. On its own, this doesn't look right. It just, it looks kind of funky and I don't know what to, I, I don't know what to say about it. Fluffy here looks great. All right, see, look at this. Then you have to re-change re it round in order for the trapdoor system to work. You have to move your buildings around, but then you've just got the top of the building floating on its own. No. I'm sorry, no. Even, I mean, if you got Moaning Myrtle's bathroom as well, then you'd have somewhere to put that top piece. But otherwise, people said it's a reference from the books. I think it's the angel. I, when I was having, oh yeah, that's the truth. I did want to talk about this in this video, in this stream thing. Right, let's zoom in here. It's something I didn't mention in this video because honestly, I just forgot about it. But when I first looked at these photos when Lan sent them, um, it's an ancient ruins classroom, which I thought was pretty cute, or at least that's what I 
perceive it and think it is. Like looking at the stickers on the wall, I don't sure if you can see that very well. I don't want to zoom in too much more because I don't think I'm going to shrink it back down very easily. So it's an ancient runes classroom. Oh, Bellatrix, boy, do I have a surprise for you. Ready? Text to speech is actually going to work today. It's actually going to work today. Once it appears. Thank you for your $4, Bellatrix. Wait, 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 wait. Twelfth annual super chat and how did I not see this? Can you all hear that? Please tell me that worked and that you can actually like hear the voice. Can you hear the voice? Yes. All right. I worked it out. There was some setting that I had to fiddle with. Let me know if that was too loud. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that part of the chat trying to give all you saying yes. Yay, it worked. Thank you so much, Bellatrix. Oh, of course you got to test it out as well. Thank you for your $4. All right, so Ancient Runes Classroom. We all know Hermione, or we maybe all don't know, Ash and Flash, um, that Hermione takes up Ancient Runes in the Prisoner of Azkaban, which is why she has a time turner so that she can do divination and Ancient Runes at the same time. I only paid twenty dollars for the night bus, not seventy. How? How? The volume was perfect. So, like, I like it. I like that it's there. It's a cool inclusion. It's a smart use of space. But the fact that this just sits on its own looks stupid. Like that looks ridiculous. That when the builds put together like this, it's cute. But then, like, why do we have a a balcony on the bottom level? Like, I get that this is technically the third floor, but like, what's that about? But back to Fluffy. All right. So what I don't like about Fluffy, Fluffy, like I said in my video, looks like he's been doing too many like chest days at the gym. Like he's he's really. He is, his face is cute, all right? His face is cute. The Ancient Runes class is a bit too random. Fair enough. Even the builds are boring and empty. Exactly. The main building I get because you've got to stick Fluffy in there. Fluffy's big. But Fluffy looks so bulky in like his chest and shoulders. Like, think, think about it this way. You know those like memes that you see of people who like may have taken a few too many steroids at the gym to like bulk up like their chest and their biceps and all that that's what fluffy looks like but he also has like big thighs like he's quite chunky also look at that tail it's literally just a horn piece stuck with one of those like little clip things it just it doesn't look right he's too blocky yes what's the tub in the classroom it's like a little jar thing and then like a pot i'm not too sure what that like jar minifigure head's supposed to be though like, I love the sleeping fluffy face and I love the angry fluffy face. I don't like the one in the middle. Not a big fan of it. I'm really thinking of getting two of them. Holly's a body shamer. <laughs> Fair enough. Lego Francis, thank you for the five pounds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll let, I'll let them read you out. This fluffy is that guy at the gym who just bulks on protein and does no actual exercise. It's true. It's true. I just feel like it could have been done better. But I think the biggest thing here, right? Bellatrix, thank you for the $3. This is what we're about to talk about. Actually, Bellatrix, once it, I'm just gonna let it pop up. Come on, text it. Come on, Brian, where are you? Brian, kick in here so I can continue my conversation. The Mixels joints, all right? The Mixels joints. These need to be brown because it makes Fluffy, like Bellatrix said, except it's not appearing. I wonder if that's the profanity. Oh no, here we go. Why is Fluffy's back huge? Okay. The grey sticks out like a sore thumb. The black, I can get behind. Black, brown, like May even my own dog, Maisie. She's got like back black and brown on her. The black joints, I understand. The grey sticks out like a sore thumb, doesn't look quite right. I just feel like it could have been done better. Like his butt looks really big here, his tail looks kind of puny, he's quite wide and I don't even know if I'd be able to try and mod that any sort of way without, like the only thing I can think of is just taking off those tiles, maybe be able to work it out. 
You did, Vince. I'm very sorry. I think the black is okay, but the grey is too distracting. It should have been another colour. Yes, it should have. I wonder how easily this can be modified. I want to find out. Because, like, we were onto such a roll here. Like, his heads look good. And I'm not a big fan of the, the middle head being, like, where is it? An in-between. Like, because you can see here, it's one side sleepy, one side, like, happy. And that's, like, a play feature. You can just rotate it. So, I'm thinking about probably, I'd probably get two. I mean... Depends how steeply discounted they are since this set is quite expensive and or if I get one of them sent through land. If I get one sent through land, then I'll buy another one when they're on sale and definitely have two of them and then swap out the middle head probably and then try and do something with the builds. Tommy made a custom fluffy. I did not see that. That's true, actually. Ash, I could build this with Mecha. I think you should build one on Mecha then I'll write. Well, no, I would get the instructions, build this and then modify. I might try that. Maybe. We'll see. But... The molded heads are really nice and I can't fault Lego on that there. As as weird as I think the rest of Fluffy looks, the molded heads are really pretty. Just overall, this is my least favorite set out of the entire wave. I'm not a fan of the build. I think it's very plain. I think it's very empty. I think it's going to be a very tough sell for a lot of people for this set. Like Fluffy is the draw here and even then... I feel like he could have been better. Moving on to one of my favorite sets. I don't think it's my favorite, but one of my favorite. What would I rate it? I'd probably rate it like a five, a five or a six. I don't think it's one of the worst Harry Potter sets, but I think it. Th I think it's it's there. Actually, speaking of, someone in my comments said that they would love to hear me like talk about like a, a buying guide or like something like that, and I really do plan on getting that. I will rank all of them. And like, because theoretically, like there's no promise that I'm going to get sent all of these sets from land. Fingers crossed I do, because that means I get to be first for you guys and really get to pump out these reviews, which is what I really want to do. Oh, we've got a, this is a wide variety of ratings. Seven out of 10, three out of 10, seven out of 10, six out of 10, four, seven, five, six, two, four, seven, six and a half, six. All right, so it's like average to bad. All right, so this one's worse objectively than the bathroom. So yeah, I want to do a list and rank them all based on what I want. Now we're all get that is a lot of ratings. Three, zero, <laughs> zero, four, eight. All right, so it's like bad to middle is what I'm getting. The ugly small snare you forgot. Oh, that's true, Brady. We need to go back. Hang on. Forgot to mention how pathetic that is. Not that we can really see it. It's literally just four vines. What I'm going to do, because I've got so many little, um, what's I'm going to call it, so many plant pieces. I'm going to make like a proper devil snare thing with all of my seaweed and like vines and all that. I want to do it. But yeah, I'm going to do a video basically ranking everything and telling you what order I personally would buy them in. So that I can kind of help you out because this wave's expensive. I think someone said it's like 500 Great British Pounds, which converted that. That's over like $1,000. I haven't totaled it in Australian dollars. um, So that's fun. It's the fancy ones though. It is the fancy ones. I think they look good, but it needs more. It also needs like dark green. Help me. Help me. My phone is at one. I didn't let Brian read it out. Bellatrix, thank you for another $3. Bellatrix, you got to plug your phone in. This stream's been scheduled, mate. It's been scheduled. Why is the devil's snare back? Yeah, that's a good question. I feel like it should be dark green, but I feel like they did that just so they didn't have to recolor the piece so it was cheaper because they have the molded heads for Fluffy. That's what I'm getting. So stop being wrong. <gasps> that break, don't be mean to me. I really, at least I assume that's me. Hogsmeade. This one's one of my favorite. Who's Brian? Brian's the voice. So Brian's bricks. Technically, you are reading everything everything it's 300 total here in the u.s can someone go onto the australian website and total it all up so because it's apparently 501 pounds then people are saying it's 300 us dollars for the entire wave which definitely doesn't sound right considering the chamber of secrets is 140 on its own 685 for me in CAD. Okay, ours are roughly the same as you, Vince. So I feel like ours would be a tiny bit more, maybe edging on 700. All right, so we've got Hogsmeade now. 
Don't rate yet. Don't rate yet, people. All right. Firstly, this should have been a D to C set. <laughs> We're just going to kind of be sad now for a split second. This should have been a D to C set. I've taken 25 minutes. I'm really up to the third set. Ha <laughs> ha. So how long do you think this stream will be? Long. <laughs> long. Why the rum? I, this should have been a DDC set. It's so sad that we're only getting two buildings because this is not a Hogsmeade village. And I get that it says Hogsmeade village visit, so it's not supposed to be the village. But I wished that there was a third building. Like, I wish it was... Let me, I'm just gonna... I need to do this again because I, you know, I've got to get my money's worth while this is still sealed. It should have been like this. Okay? This is what Hogsmeade should have been. Three buildings, right? Three broomsticks, honey dukes, zonkos. That's what this should have been. Thank you, Brady, for the $2. It is small. It is small. Let's listen to Brian. Hogsmeade 9 tenths top room of Honey Dukes is small. Well, Brickhead, slow down. We're gonna, we're gonna get to the Chamber of Secrets first before we talk about all the Hogwarts expansions. But not necessarily. I... Oh, nine tenths. Is that what he said? Because <laughs> I can't hear anything because I don't have my headphones in. That's funny. Look, this should have been what Diagon Alley was with three buildings. It's very pretty. 900 Australian dollars. Are you kidding me? Is that is that actually the... MA, are you... Please tell me that's a joke. Please tell me that's a joke. Young Zone's throwing me off. <laughs> so true, actually. Oh my gosh. 900 Australian... You're kidding me. D to C. Okay, so D to C means, so for, I will say what it stands for. Firstly, D to C stands for direct to consumer, which means it's usually a Lego exclusive. Sometimes it's always a Lego exclusive. Sometimes it's not. So like Moz Eisley, for example, that's a Lego exclusive for, at first, then it appears on Amazon months later. That's what that means. $900? Land, please, please, land. Otherwise, we're getting reviews spread out throughout the month. I don't think I can justify spending $900 all at once on some of these sets. Specifically, like, the flying lesson, I don't want to pay retail price for that. And Fluffy, I ain't paying retail price for that. So, please, land, please, please send them. The community wants them. I want them. We want to see reviews. The Potter Minifig Pals community wants to see reviews. 900 Australian dollars for the entire wave, people. All right. So back to Hogsmeade. It's pretty. I like the buildings. Honey Dukes, I feel like, could have been a tiny bit better. Three Broomsticks overall, I like. Three Broomsticks sign. Not a big fan of. <sighs> right, we really... I'm going to get into this debate right now. Before we get into, like, the good things, let's talk about the bad, shall we? I'm struggling to zoom in right now. Okie dokie. Here we go. Everyone who's watched my video knows where this is about to go. Mr. S Mrs. Flume. Doesn't she look familiar to a lot of people? You know, being a ginger with that hair. She looks an awful lot like Molly Weasley. Now, all jokes aside... I think that the Mrs. Flume figure looks really good. It looks really good. Same with Madame Rose Murder. I think both of these figures look really accurate. Who is Mr. and Mrs. Flume again? I'm pretty sure that they own Honey Dukes because I know Madame Rose Murder like runs the three broomsticks. So I'm pretty sure they're the Honey Dukes owners. They look great. Mo Mrs. Flume looks great. Madame Rose Murder looks great. It just shows me how bad... Specifically Bellatrix, because we have a CMF version of her. Specifically how bad that these look. You realise there's 20 people in the MCU that look the same? I do, and I think that's a major problem too. Like, Ant-Man and Peter Parker don't look alike. So it's, it's really such a shame. It really is. Like, I think these figures look great, but it just, it just, specifically Molly, because not even her hair's good. Like, Bellatrix, at least she's got her good hair piece. But Molly, her hair sucks as well. It just makes her look even worse. I don't like the roofing. Yeah, I don't like the roofing on Honey Dukes. I like the Honey Dukes, like, bottom build. 
and I love the snow on the roof. I wish there was, I wish the roof was entirely white to be completely honest. I would love less dark bluish gray, but unfortunately we can't get everything. I love the lamp post. I love the little stools. It looks so cute. It looks so cute. I don't like how we're reusing Harry's torso though, because like this is, this is winter. It's cold. Harry would freeze to death. Can Vince and Ash, can you confirm that you would not be able to go outside in a, in a jacket like Harry's in the winter? Because <laughs> Harry should have the invisibility cloak. He should have actually, if that's, if this is going to be completely accurate, he should have. I'm lucky. I bought two of those figures because I lost my old invisibility cloak from 2010. The one that just like sat on top of his head. So go make a sandwich for us men. Get out, warg attack. Who are you? Leave. I can because I'm Canadian. Okay, well, I would freeze if I went out in a jacket like b -fab. Literally, it's, what, 22 degrees Celsius in my room and I'm in a hoodie and a blanket. I literally had a cool Harry Potter shirt on. Where is it? Wait, here we go. Look, I had this cool Harry Potter shirt on. But no, I'm too cold. <laughs> he would freeze to death. All right, thank you, Vince. Thank you for a genuine answer. So, like, Harry Potter's gonna freeze. I... Can we talk about Dean Thomas for a second? Dean Thomas, right? Love Dean Thomas. I have multiples of his CMF figure from the series, mainly because I wanted the robes. This is something that we've needed for a while. Actually, can so that face looks suddenly looks awfully familiar. Hold on. Hold on. I saw that Narcissa Malfoy passed away. I'm very sad. Wait. Blanket down for a second. Where is it? Is that the same face? I didn't realize this before. I'm just looking at this again now. Yeah, what? How did Brickset get all of these photos, Ash? I was about to say that. Like, it literally, like, flat, straight on box images. Okay, maybe not. I don't know what Ned's other face looks like, but it looks very similar to Dean Thomas's. I just had to check that. Ned has a different color skin. Does he actually? Because it looks very familiar. It looks the same to me. I mean, this is still on its box, so let's put that back. I like my pajama pants. I'm very comfy right now. <laughs> you couldn't tell. Ned looks like me, no cap. I know, Asian. It looks so similar to the face print you've done yourself. Dean looks like that guy from High School Musical, Zeke. I bake. Deathly Hallows Lego isn't cancelled. I think it's just on hold for next year. She's only 52, I know. It was really sad. I didn't believe that when I saw it this morning. It's very unfortunate. Ned is the darker flush where Dean is light brown. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I love Dean. I love Dean. It means we're getting more diversity in our face pins. It means we have a new one, which I, good, I'm glad. One, that they didn't use the CMF face, but two, it means now that this one can get put into other sets in the future. What color is Dean's wand? I'm not entirely sure, actually. Let me have a look. I think it's dark brown. Yeah, that looks like dark brown to me. All right. I I love it. Go Dean and his, whoops, and his new face print. Also, the Prisoner of Azkaban. Have you seen this wizard sign? Love it. At least he's in a set. True for people who missed out. Also, he's in winter clothes, so good for him. Honey Dukes, I love those window pieces. They look really cute. Same with all of, I imagine they're going to be stickers. The pink sticker pieces. I just realized that there's a giant wall panel with a sticker on it. I wish that was brick built. I wish that wasn't just a panel. That kind of feels like a cop out. Bellatrix, okay, thank you I'm for back. the two My phone comments. died. Okay, good. I'm glad you plugged it in. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that big panel looks kind of ridiculous. Wish that was brick built. Same with the side of the three broomsticks. Now that I'm looking at it, like I wish there was more masonry bricks and regular bricks. Feels kind of slack. I mean, is there prints on the inside? Oh yeah, there's giant sticker panels. All right, well, I kind of understand. I get it. I wish that those Acid Pops minifigure heads were Birdie Bot's Every Flavored Beans printed one by ones. Like Acid Pops, 
Yeah, we've heard about them, but like everyone knows about birdie bots. What do you think about the chocolate frog cards? I'm a big fan, but I, I don't want them to be random. I don't want to end up with four of the same chocolate frog card and then have to try and find the rest. I'm not keen for that. <laughs> it's going to be painful. What's the side build that Dean's looking at? It's supposed to be something like it's in the Prisoner of Azkaban. Like as soon as Harry pops out of like the little passageway, there's like this glass cabinet in the middle with like this robot that's like picking up candy. That's what that's supposed to be. <laughs> Video never has duplicates in the same set, but that's the problem is I'm going to have to buy multiple sets. Bye, Ash. Talk to you later. I imagine you're going to go eat food, so enjoy dinner. Um, retire 275 US. Oh, Josh, that's amazing. Well done. I don't know about Gringotts soon. Everyone say bye, Ash. Bye, Ash. Thanks for joining. I just I wish it was Birdie Bots. Or because we got the chocolate frog cards, give us a little chocolate frog tile. Thanks, everyone. Yay, supportive community. You all are the best. There's also really cute, like, printed lollipop pieces. I love the printed Honey Dukes box. I think that's really cute. I just wish there was more going on. Like, it feels very empty. And that top room, like chat said, very plain. Very plain. Like, there should be more things. Like, I look back at um, Weasley's Wizard Wheezies. Did I say that right this time? Wheezes. And there was like, at that top space, there was like so many shelves and products and things like that, that like you could have put more stuff in. Will you build more buildings for Hogsmeade? I don't have the pieces in the color scheme. Otherwise I would. Like I really want to try. I'm definitely going to do like a comparison video though, between all of the mocks that I've seen of the buildings. I, I wish I could build them all, but I don't think I'll be able to get all the pieces, at least for Honeydukes in time, but I do want to compare them all. Oh, thank you, Julian. That was really sweet of you. <laughs> what do you think about the reuse of CMF parts? I'll talk more about that in a second when we get onto the Chamber of Secrets, but I really like it. Oh, Michael. So sweet. Come on. Come on, Brian. Pick up for Michael while I zoom in on this image. Eh. Here we go. Let's zoom into the three broomsticks. Get real close in here. Come on, Brian. Come on. Michael will get back to that in a second then because Brian's not reading. I like the shrunken heads on the back of the door. I like the stickered peas, like the two by two. I love the C Oh, here we go. Okay, I guess I like being friends with you a little bit. Bonk. I don't know. Was there no bonk that time? Why is there a croissant? <laughs> no idea. Right. <laughs> Finally, it took long enough. So, thank you, Michael. Um, I love that they're bringing back the Butterbeer glasses. Like, it makes Ron and Hermione kind of redundant. Her Ron more so than Hermione. I really liked Hermione's face print. Like, the both of their outfits were great, and I feel like they're going to look great in the three broomsticks here as well. Pardon me, I'm going to yawn. Oh, dear. I'm tired. They are a bit cursed on the door, <laughs> TBH. I also love that they've put the little stud on top of the little glass. Thank you, Tommy, for becoming a member. I love your profile picture, by the way, of the Simpsons characters. That's really cool. I really like that. Um, I love the little stud to be the foam. And I'm, I'm excited because it means I could put my glasses in here and like make it more popular. Where's the members link? I have a, I wonder if this is gonna work. No, that's not going to work. I was about to press a button. It's in the description. Because <laughs> I've, got, I've got so much to talk about here and we're, we're 40 minutes in and we're only up to the fourth set. So I'm not going to go and look for it. Mod, Michael, you're a mod. Go link, copy it out of there. Um, <laughs> the room at the top, that's where like they have that whole serious black revelation. Tiny, tiny bit small, but they've done a really good use of space for what they have. How do I feel about McGonagall? From what I've seen, her outfit color is not completely accurate, but I love that we're getting her like with hair because I bought a dark gray 
um, hairpiece like that for her. At least I don't need to use that now. <laughs> Thank you, Vince. Let me pin that real quick. Wait, I need a different button. <laughs> I'm in the wrong chat. Did that work? I think I did it. Damn it, Vince. About to use that. Overall, I really like this set. It's definitely an early day one buy for me. I feel like this one's a solid with just first impressions without owning it. I think this is a solid eight and a half. I don't want to give it nine because I know that it could be better. Can baby Yoda take over the stream? Where is he? He fell on the floor earlier. He's either on the floor or under my bed sheets and the other one is way too high up for me to go and grab right now so I'm very sorry Bfab but I cannot today actually maybe I can without dropping him that was lucky here he is I don't think he's gonna take over but I'll sit him down he can come can baby Yoda else. take over the stream here we go there we go I didn't lose him how do they get to the second floor? They apparate. Because it's Hogsmeade. You can apparate within Hogsmeade. So, big brain power. Yeah, this one's going to be like an early get for me. I really like it. Eight and a half. Because Honeyduke's top roof, second floor, kind of empty. The roof, I feel like, could have been better. And it needed to be a bigger set. So, that's my... I did, Jack. It was very sad. We did talk about that for a tiny bit, but I don't want to focus on the negative today because there's a lot of that in the world at the moment. You lost the child. I did not lose the child. He just fell over. All right, here's the one that I've been wanting to talk about the most because there's a lot to unpack here. <laughs> the Chamber of Secrets. This one is my favorite. Okay, this set looks gorgeous and it's such a shame that, like, the roof pieces a sand green because I know that this is going to throw a lot of people off and they're going to be like oh part of me oh I don't really want it like nah, it's not that great like I don't want the roofs Bellatrix thank you for the five dollars come on Brian this is an exciting <clears throat> one um guy found a grogat target and I'm going to send it to your PO box thank you thank you very much That'll be so much fun. I have a big collection growing. I'm very excited about this. Two out of ten for the sand green roofs. Look, I'm I'm gonna swap them all out because I think this set is too beautiful not to display. It looks gorgeous. The basilisk head as well, I think, is amazing. The basilisk is what I wish Fluffy was. <laughs> and that is that is a good, a good build. Robert, thank you so much for the five pounds. Come on, come on, come on. Work, 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 work. Wait, you do? <gasps> Hi from UK in DVD extra for Poa You see Honeydukes and the Flumes on a tour. Mrs. Flume is too pink in set. My fav set is flying lesson love Irvids and stream. I have not gone back, watched back all of those in a very long time. See, that's funny because one of my least favorites is the flying lesson because of how much it costs for us. But I can see why that's one of your favorites. Thank you so much, Robert. I really appreciate it. I'm just going to swap out the roofs for this. I really am because I think that this is too pretty. But this is the problem here is one, this set's expensive. Like it's a lot of money. They're green because of the 20th anniversary. I know, Bo. But the problem is that they changed them to dark bluish gray, which looks more accurate. So then I spent money redoing all of my old sand green ones into dark bluish gray. And now they've gone back to sand green for the anniversary, which means these ones won't match all of the stuff and all of the work that I've done. That's my problem. I get why. And I think, it, I think it's cute. I think it works really well. But the fact that I want to combine it with the sets from like the last few years, it's annoying. But... I will do it. But in this case, I think it works. It doesn't connect, sadly. Haha, -ha. boy, do I have news for you, other Robert. <laughs> Why are they so expensive for Australia? I know. Too expensive, too green. It's expensive. And this is the problem here, is that this, at the end of the day, is the core of this system. Like, why does that look so horrible? What is with the 
bit depth of that. That colouring, ew. Ew. That looks... Anyway, looking at this, like, this is all the, se all the Hogwarts sets combined. And it looks amazing. But the problem here is that now you have to buy the Chamber of Secrets to make your Hogwarts look good. Why is it green? Galaxy, it's for the 20th anniversary. We're paying respect back to the old sets, which I get. Which, here, this looks amazing, but you then need the Chamber of Secrets to make your Hogwarts look good, which is which is not a great thing. It really not. I love all the rocks at the bottom, though. That's something we haven't gotten besides the micro-scale ones. I really appreciate that. See, Claire, I believe, apparently, according to, like, regular conversions, that this should be 200, not 230. Don't quote me on that. Maybe it's closer to 210. I love this system. So do I. I hope, like, next year, I think that they'll go back to the dark bluish grey roofs, but I hope that they keep this system. Because the problem with the 2018 system is that everything's horizontal, whereas this one, it's horizontal and vertical which is good because it's like think about like cities for example like you can't just keep expanding out otherwise you get Los Angeles and a lot of congestion you got to go up like New York thank you this set's really cute the second great hall yeah it's annoying like it's not as it's definitely not as good as the first one and I'll probably swap that out into just a dueling room or like I could I could very easily just hold on I didn't get much sleep last night because of that video going up at midnight. Um, forgive me. I'll probably change that into something else. The Salazar Slytherin entrance. It's kind of cool. I think the eyes look a bit funky. It's definitely not to scale, but it's cute. And it's definitely more accurate than the first one. The brick built chamber door, I think, is my favorite. That looks really nice. I love that. I also love the little slide. So this is the problem here, right? Let's go. Technically the third great hall, likely not the last, I know. The worst part is it's not like I can combine this with my old great hall. <laughs> but fair enough. So here, see this is my issue. We have Myrtle's bathroom, which luckily is a cheap set. So you could buy this and Myrtle's bathroom and I think you'd be fine. I think that would be all you need if you really want it. This is technically a Deathly Hallows set. I want to say no, but you're not wrong. <laughs> The Ninjago snakes for the door is amazing. I think so too. I love that. My favorite minifig there is Colin Creevy. Same. Luna is a bit random. Ooh, that's a whole conversation topic in itself, saying it. So if you buy those two sets... Oh, look, there's that weird piece again. The garage door piece above Lockhart's office. So that seems to be a thing for like all of those sized buildings. All right. I, I see what we're doing there. So you can put Myrtle's bathroom on the top here. Then you can lift up the, the sink... So make her slide down the slide, which I love. I think that's really smart. I think they really planned that out well. I like it, but then that means you've just... All of those sets are nothing without this. Like, this is the core thing. I think if you were to get any set from this wave, part of me wants to say this, but at the same time, part of me wants to say Hogsmeade because it's something different. But the Basilisk looks amazing. I don't like that Tom Riddle figure. I, just try, I know what they were trying to do with the legs, but it just didn't work. They needed to dual mold them for that to work because the black is so jarring on when you like turn them around and the side of his legs gray. It looks stupid. So I don't like that. Ron and Hermione sitting in a cold duck chamber at a school. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. No tooth or forks included. Ash, can I say your idea? You know the one that you were talking about last night of like the how forks should have been included? Can I mention that here, please? Um, nearly had the snick being glowing the dark. Love. But someone said it should have been Professor Bins, which I agree with because he was in the background. Or the Bloody Baron. I, either one of them I would have loved. I know, I'm going to credit you for your idea. I just want to know if I can talk about it. <laughs> can we discuss it while you're here? Sad Droko's not here. That is also true. Dumbledore, very reminiscent of 2001, which I love as well, even though it's not accurate. It's really cute. I'm glad it's not the same one. 
Also would have loved the C a similar CMF Dumbledore to come back. I wish they used that hair hat piece for him. I think that would have been amazing. But Justin Finch Fletchley, I believe is what he's actually called. I've Ever since I played the Lego Harry Potter game, I've always just called him Justin Finch Fletchy. Specifically, I said, Justin Finch Fletchy. All right, let me read out. Uh, he said it now so I can say it. So Ash and I were talking about this set last night and he was saying that this should have come with forks. And then he was like, no, it should have come with a variation of forks where he's flying like the flying Hedwig, but like his feet have a space where you can actually clip the Sword of Gryffindor so that you can have him flying and like delivering the Sword of Gryffindor. It was really cool, which I wish they would have done that. But like, I understand that's like another new mold that they'd have to worry about. But like, it's, it's weird that Forks isn't here. Especially since they brought back the original, like, the Forks piece from the CMF. Like, it's really weird that he's not here. Big brain. Well, that's why Ash wants to be a Lego designer. That would have been so cool. I know. Golden Dumbledore. We'll get to that point. Like, we've got the Sorting Hat. Like, he delivered that. <gasps> that's true. He delivered the Sorting Hat, which had the sword in it and not. I wonder how you'd be able to do that then. I mean, I still feel like just for argument's sake and like ease of molding, they should have made him hold the sword, even though like technically, yes, he did bring in the hat. Do you know why YouTube doesn't let me activate the notification bell? I have no idea, although to be completely honest, I would unsubscribe for me and resubscribe and then try and press the bell. <laughs> Lego, what the heck are you doing? Not hiring Ash. Yeah, Mahan, I'm, I'm rooting for that. Guys, we have to get Ash a Lego designer job in like, five years. If his channel starts to die, that's when we campaign. <laughs> Whoa, what did I just do? Okay. So Justin Finch Fletchley, Hufflepuff robes. I love it. I've always wanted to give my little Ash Hogwarts sig fig Hufflepuff robes. So I might swap this out and give the robes to him instead. Thank you, Bellatrix, for another $3. <laughs> Since Forks isn't there, it's from the Deathly Hallows. <gasps> True, confirmed. Brian, come on. I'm so much faster than you. Mate. Thank you. Since Forks isn't there, it's from Deathly Hallows. We're just spitting facts today here in the chat. Luna Lovegood. Right. Not Penelope Clearwater. Just, just, just. Okay, firstly, I thought Penelope Clearwater was a brunette. <laughs> My mistake. Secondly, I see why people now were saying that. Firstly, if theoretically, like... Lego would literally just... Wait, serious question. What do you mean serious question? What did you say? What? What happened to the sorting hat after the second one? Did they leave him down there? I mean... No, because Forks carried everyone out, didn't they? Someone would have had to go back down and get him. Like, otherwise, how did they sort the students the following years? <laughs> Harry took it back with him. Thank you, Jiggle My Jam. I think maybe Voldemort burned it. I'm getting really hungry and I have no water either, so that's unfortunate. Um, <sighs> Luna Lovegood. So, theoretically, Lego would reuse, like, from Lego's standpoint, I have hope that they wouldn't do this, but they would reuse the same face print that Luna does. The only difference between Luna Lovegood figure and a Penelope Clearwater figure would realistically be the hairpiece that they choose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out that hairpiece because I don't need a young Luna. I'd rather have Penelope Clearwater and have some variation. Like, I don't need that. But Ravenclaw robes, hyped. Colin Creevy, he's so cute. I love his face print. He looks adorable. I'm not 100% sold on his hair. I can I can see it better now that I went back and looked at photos of him. I love his camera build as well. I think it's amazing. Harry and the Sword of Gryffindor returns. I'm so glad the sword's back because I opened two grip hooks to have two swords. And it's lovely that now I can have that one as well. Even though it's kind of annoying. Oh no, because I wanted... I No, it's actually not annoying. I wanted to give my Godric Gryffindor now that I've opened the Hogwarts castle the good sort of Gryffindor so I can just use the one from the Chamber of Secrets set which is great. Cornish pixies look amazing. I, are they micro dolls? 
like modified micro dolls or whatever that is. They're cool, but like I also feel like their wings needed to be lower down because it just looks like they've got giant ears. Professor Sinestra, I love. McGonagall's hat looks amazing. Lockhart looks great as well, but he should have come with a cape. And we have a new owl, which I'm going to order off bricks and pieces. Guarantee it. Lockhart's office, I think, is my favorite section of this set. I think it looked, besides like the um, Chamber of Secrets door, there should have been more bones at the bottom of the chamber there. I feel like at the bottom of the slide. Lockhart's office as well. The layout of that's actually very similar to how it is in the movie, which is amazing. Now I'm getting warm. I should take my blanket off. Eh. Wait, why did Ginny get blonde hair and become a Ravenclaw? She didn't. That's Luna Lovegood. <laughs> Lockhart's wig. Other tiny astronomy tower. Love this set. I just, I love it. Like, I really want to do a video when I get my hands on all of the Hogwarts ones and then just combine them all. But also um, try and combine them with mine. Because not that we can really see, especially now that I've zoomed out. Actually, you can kind of see the Technic pins next to the room with Salazar Slytherin's, like, chamber opening head thing on the left. You can see the Technic pins. So it will connect with the existing systems. But because the rocks are at the bottom, it might look a bit funky. But theoretically, it does. But what I would do personally is I would connect all of the 2018 ones and then just place this behind it and give your castle some depth. Big brain. These are coming out on the 1st of June. I've, apparently, pre-orders are open now for Lego Shop at Home. Also, Zavi sent me an email this morning saying that they're doing pre-orders for a few of the sets. So I'll do a community post on that because I have an affiliate link. So if you would like to pre-order them from Zavi, please use my affiliate link because then I make a portion of the sale so you can support me. Thank you. Especially if you're going to buy the set anyway. Thank you. Do you prefer having multiple Hogwarts sets in a way that combine or one big one? That's actually a good question because I love this system. I feel like maybe one or two would be fine. Probably wouldn't want three again. What's my favorite fig out of the set? For this one specifically, I feel like it has to be Lockhart. I love Lockhart. He looks great. Canada pre-order is available for Chess, Harry, Hermione, and Forks and the dumb name. <laughs> People were saying to me, like, they, they, they feel like, why? Let's find out which ones Zavis are actually doing. What did they say? Oh, okay, everyone. Don't do it now. Wait till I give you the link. But Zavi, and they ship internationally because I know a lot of people used them last year. It's where I got my little Grogu from. The link should, actually, the affiliate link is in my description if you really want to go and order it now and you just look it up yourselves. They are going to pre-order Hogsmeade and the Chamber of Secrets. So that's great. Wait, what about Canada? Lego Shop at Home, they've got some of the pre-orders open. So it works in you only no problem, Aldo. So yes, if you're specifically in your if you're in the UK, because it will arrive faster, or even internationally, Zavi, look at my link in the description, which I really hope it's there. You can pre-order Hogsmeade for 72 great British pounds and pre-order the Chamber of Secrets for 130 pounds. So I will do a community post though about that. So please, I get a, I get a, if you're gonna buy the set anyway. Buy it through my link so I can make some money. So I could buy my $900 worth of sets just in case Lan doesn't send them to me. Please, Lan. Please, please. I love this. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I love it. I want to put it on display, but I don't know. What's the best pre-order option for Australia? Jeanette, unfortunately, I don't think Shop at Home is going to do pre-orders for us. So personally, what I would do is on the 30... How many days does May have? Is it 30? 30. On the 31st of May, I would get on at 11.50 p.m. on Lego Shop at Home. And or try, and or if you can get to a Lego store. Unfortunately, we're stuck. I might order from Zavi. I don't know. Well, Asian, I'll give you the link when you need it. <laughs> Myrtle should have been in this. I feel like... Rather than Luna, it would have been a good way to get the Ravenclaw torso. But the problem with Myrtle is she's a ghost and her uniform's different. So that sucks. Which isn't good. I feel like Penelope Clearwater, literally just any Ravenclaw student, I'm honestly surprised that they haven't gone with Cho. My carnage still has not arrived. I'm not ordering through them through Lego Shop at Home. 
Yeah, that ain't good. What do you think the $250 set will be? It's going to be buildable objects of some kind. I feel like it's going to be school objects, personally. But this should be fun. I really want to try a bunch of different variations with, um, with the Chamber of Secrets in this whole new system. I think this would be really fun. Alrighty, let's move, oh wait, rating out of 10. Let's, for this one, I feel like I have to go nine. I think I do. Do you think something's hidden behind the Hogwarts Manor? Potentially, I'm not entirely sure. I feel like it just could be there for decoration. 10 out of 10, 9.5, 10, 10, 9, 11, 9, 9, 10, 9, 9, 8 and a half, 6. Ooh. 1,000, 1,000, 7, 2. What do you mean, 2? 11, 9. Okay, so, yeah, definitely one of the best. Could the piece be reused for Stitch? Honestly? I can see that happening because they made his ears so damn tall. Or at least, like, adjusted slightly. Could you make a Malfoy Manor mock-up? I don't think I'm that skilled, Will, and we lent. I read that as Will. I'm very sorry. Why a six and a two? Why? I know. Also, speaking of the diary, thanks, Josh. You just reminded me. Does Lockhart have a day second face? I don't think so. But the diary, I mean, technically you could make it stabbable if you just get yourself, like, one of the fang pieces and, like, some of the other diaries from the CMFs slash Dobby. Because this one's a new one. This one's a sticker, though, which, which sucks. Stop messaging me, Ash. I'm busy. And you know that. Punk. Punk. It's only a streak as well. What a waste of my time. Chess set. <laughs> Just kidding. I love getting snaps from you. The chess set. This, I think, is some pretty good value price per piece wise. I don't know how to play chess, so do I kind of want to play checkers <laughs> using this board and using the chess pieces. <laughs> I feel like that would be pretty fun. The one thing I'm scared of, though, is that, like, even in the starting position, it's not like there's a jumper plate in the middle so you can, like, stick the figures down. Which means it's going to be a bit of a mess. The chess squares aren't squares. Yeah, they are. It's a it's a two by it's two two by four tiles, which means it's a four by four. Hello. <laughs> the only thing with the chess set is that I feel like like it's got three desirable figures in it, but it's not a set for everyone. Like I can see a lot of people just skipping out on this because it's not like while it's a mini figure scale set, it's more so a chess board than it is a set. Which is a shame because it's like the figures are amazing in it. I personally quite like it, even though I know I'm never going to play chess on it. So I'll just play checkers. But I also feel like this is going to look really cool on display. You know what this would be good for? Like, I, I, you know how much I love my coffee table set displays. People, what about a side table? A side table with this like my bedside table, and then I have like the chess set in between. Damn. I could have seen Quirrell in this. I swear that in that leaked image, that really blurry leaked image that Quirrell was in this, I was so convinced. So I'm really not, I'm really mad. Quirrell would have made more sense for this set. So, don't know why they didn't, but don't feel bad. My name is Wilson, my nickname's Will. Okay, good. <laughs> that was really lucky. But yeah, it's cute. Like, there's not too much I can say about this. Like, it's it's literally a chessboard. I like how they've got all the lanterns on the sides and things like that. The figures are really cute. Hermione's jumper, though, I feel like would have been better as dark red. Or at least with arm printing. He's not in the scene, but they go fight him afterwards. Since he's the one who tried to steal the stone. There is Golden Voldemort's face in the back of Quirrell's head. So good news, Lego builder. I like it. I'm just like it's it's just a chessboard. Like there's there's not much I can say on this at all. I said even less actually in my video, and I had to go back and record stuff because I realized I didn't really talk about it. Spoilers. Oh, sorry. Like, if you want to save money in this wave, honestly, I would pass on this one and then maybe buy the figures depending on how much they are in Bricklink if you want to save money. This is one that you could probably pass with. I wish they used this Harry in the Advent Calendar instead of Diagon Alley. I wish. I wish. That would have been so much better. 
What will be on the Chocolate Frog cards? I can imagine Dumbledore, Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena, Salazar, Slytherin. Surely they'd have to be on it like the actual physical Chocolate Frog cards do. I can't remember who else is on them. I feel like you'd have to have Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Snape, maybe. I don't know. That's what I'm interested to find out. I only want the figures TBH. Brick link them then. Save yourself some money with this wave. There is there is too much here that we really need to budget this year. Right. That's that one. Really can't talk about that one much. Buildable figures. At first, I thought these were going to be like Mickey and Minnie and I was terrified. I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm not going to lie. Harry, I'm not a big fan of. I think it looks really weird with the cloth like cloak that he has. Oh, right, rating for the chessboard. I'd say seven and a half. I did like the new Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode. Wasn't the best episode, but it was good. Best set in the whole wave. I w I'm i with Ash. I feel like it's more of a second best set or third best set. So this set really surprised me. I, I'm i so glad that they went for the minifigure route because I was really scared that they were going to look terrifying. I think this idea is adorable. But more importantly... I am really excited to compare this to my 3D printed minifigure. And I was saying this to Ash as well. I was like, like th that's the closest thing that you can get to one of these. And I wonder if Lego kind of saw that market and were like, let's do our own version. Let's brick build it. Because I was really surprised at like how much interest there were in those 3D figures and things like that. That's what I'm thinking. I really want to see these for a lot of other themes and I understand that this set isn't for everyone especially with the rest of the way being so expensive I can see this one not doing too well like I think it's a great set but I can see people not buying it like Axel just said 9 out of 10 not gonna get it I think they could have made more interesting outfits I think they should have just done the robe prints like rather than trying to give Harry a physical robe and like printing the jumpers I feel like Doing the robe prints would have worked better. Bellatrix! Thank you for your two dollars, but no! I mean, that's fair enough, that is your opinion, but no! Will we see this format for other themes? Matt, I really hope so. I want a Darth Vader version. Ooh, I'm going to barf at the sight of these. Cannot believe you. Yeah, Matt, I really want Darth Vader specifically. I feel like an Obi-Wan and Anakin as well for the new show would be amazing. I can see them... D I wish they did Mickey and Minnie. And I know Ash was saying the same thing. I would have loved Buzz and Woody from Toy Story as well. I feel like that would have been amazing. Who else can I see them doing? Mario and Luigi, I feel like, would be pretty fun. But I doubt that they would do that. What other... I'm trying to think of, like, what other good license themes. Maybe a Spider-Man one. Just do Spider-Man on his own. Batman, I can see them doing Batman and Robin. Obi-Wan and Anakin, genius. Mm -hmm. Release them alongside the Brickheads. I think that would be really cool. But I want to see these for other themes. I think this would be amazing. A Darth Vader one would be the best. I just really want to see how they would do that helmet. That would be amazing. Hermione's bangs look off. They kind of do. Harry's head and hair, I think, looks better than Hermione's head and hair. But Hermione, like, her body and, like, her legs look better than Harry because Harry's got that cloak piece, which it looks better in the lifestyle images. Not that that lifestyle image looks any good because of the format that Lego has sent them to me in. Um, but, like, he looks slightly better there. I also like how they've given them the wand pieces. I thought that was pretty cute. The one thing I don't like about Hermione, though, is that they've given her grey in her legs to make it look like she has a skirt. I mean, not a massive fan of that Venom because, like, her obsession with him. True. Goodbye, Viva. Good night. I kind of want to go back to bed after this stream, to be honest. Where's Ron? He should be here. I can see them, like, depending on how well this sells, which I hope it sells well because I want to see more of these and just in the general. Wonder and Vision. <gasps> Wanda. Or even Wonder and Doctor Strange for the Multiverse of Madness. Spider-Man and MJ. Zendaya is MJ. That would be good. That would be good. I feel like they would do Ron separately. Like, this is the type of thing where it's like the Brickheads. You could do, like, combined packs, smaller packs, but I feel like the price point is such a hard sell. I would have rather them just do Harry on his own and make it cheaper. 
because then I think people would have bought it and then that would tell Logo that, yeah, this is something that we want. So it's really unfortunate. Billy and Tommy, oh, 6.5 out of 10. I'm thinking more of a 9. But in saying that, this is a set that I wouldn't pay full price for. Like the Chamber of Secrets, as much as I probably wouldn't want to, I would pay full price for that. Whereas I wouldn't with this. I would wait for a sale, wait for the promotion, wait for double VIP points. Like, does anyone know if the double VIP point promotion would carry over with the pre-orders on this stuff? Because I was thinking about that yesterday. One, oh, Kian, that's a bit harsh. Bit hot. 3.6. That's very specific. Loki and Thor. That would be fun. The ones look tacky. Yeah, they're not the greatest. Batman and Joker. Yes. It does? Alright, well then in that case... In that case, for everyone who can pre-order this set... If you want this set, I would pre-order it off lego.com right now so that you can get the double VAP points because that means that it makes it a bit more worth it than it would be otherwise. Ra I can't. Raf Rafe. That's how I'm going to go with that. I'm going to roll with Rafe. Rafe, thank you so much for the $2. Come on, Brian. Come on. Here we go. Is the Quidditch pack still happening? At the moment, I'm not entirely sure because that's still a rumor. I feel like it would because like the student packs and things like that and like all of the figure packs, they usually like start to leak the month before they come out and there's been one every month so far. So I feel like we might see something in like two weeks time or like middle of May for that, if that is still going to be a thing and then launch or it could come out at the same time as the D2C, which I believe will be August. So there's another option for that. But I really hope it does because I want Quidditch robes. I don't want to have to buy seven Cedric degree books. <laughs> Ariel and Ursula. True. Where's Ron? I know. Or at least do like an individual Ron. Like you can't just do the both of them and then not do Ron. I feel like Ron and Harry would have made more sense to me. Anyway, I love the figures. I want to see them. If I zoom in, are we going to find out how... Oops, that's me. Let's not move me around. <laughs> Oopsies pro streamer right here all right where's there we go i want to see how big it is if i can read the box can anyone read that because on my screen it's incredibly small i could just go to shop at home what am i doing <laughs> let's find out how tall he is C3PO and R2D2. Thank you so much, Bellatrix, if for another $5. If I bought this set, I'd be set. sleeping with my eyes open. These things are creepy. Just keep them in another room. There's your solution. <laughs> keep them in another room. Aw, oh, Hermione can sit down. Where were all of these images in our press kit? Our press kit, honestly, so disappointing compared to these. All right, Harry Potter is... Okay, that was Grogu's fault. My apologies. <laughs> His head hit them. All right. So Harry Potter is 26 and a half centimeters or 10 inches tall. Oh, everyone was typing that in the chat. Well, I'm sorry for being blind. <laughs> That's giant. That is, that is, that is massive. All right. Forks the Phoenix. Now, I was very mean to Hedwig last year when I saw the photos. No, I kid you not. I was in Costco. I was in the Costco car park. And <laughs> I saw them and I was like, yeah, I'm going to skip out on Hedwig. I'm going to save money. Not going to get it. Um, then I bought Hedwig and I was like, Hedwig's pretty cute. And like he flew and everything. And I was like, well, good. Like I've got everything now. Forks, on the other hand, I mean, it helps that I have Hedwig, I think, so that I have like another to add to that, like the buildable animals collection but forks it looks so much better than Hedwig does the color scheme firstly is so much better I think the build is a lot cleaner his head looks amazing the base is really cute because it looks like his little stand the fact that he still can fly is great I am not abusing him don't be mean Grogu fell on his own accord the figure amazing you get the little forks from the CMF amazing this set 
is really nice. And I'm really excited to see where they go with the animal line. I feel like Hedwig was a problem because it was just all white. It was boring. But Forks is a vibrant red. You've got the oranges, you've got the yellows, which in general is just a more appealing color scheme, I think. And I think this is where this set shines is because of how beautiful this thing looks. Like, it's amazing. There goes my exclusive Forks piece. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, in, I'm just glad I don't have to open up a third Dumbledore because I opened up two so I could have two of the pieces. I think Forks with the Butterbeer glasses and the Sword of Gryffindor specifically, I think they're good pieces to repeat. Because at least the Dumbledore figure stands well enough on his own. Grip hook, can't say the same about. Bellatrix, thank you for another $5. No, no, I love this set. I really do. Brian, you were so fast last time. What are you doing? Mate. I spent so long setting this stream up. So the fact that Brian is just taking forever. Thank you. I was scared there for a second. It thought you were going to say you didn't like this set. Nah. -uh. I love it. Speaking of speaking of the bonk sound effect, everyone actually while we're here. I was tempted to make it the Dumbledore from the mysterious ticking noise or scared Potter. But then I was like, well, what if I'm building a set that's not Harry Potter related? Like I should probably just do the bomb. <laughs> but let me know which one you would prefer. Anyway, this set's really cool. Once again, just like the buildable figures and maybe the chessboard, I can see people skipping out on this to save money. With this one though, I feel like as much as I love the figures, I think the buildable figures to me are better than this. But I would pick these over the figures because it's cheaper. And I think the build is just that tiny bit more impressive. But I like the idea of the things better. Dumbledore. You want the yelling Dumbledore? Dumbledore! See, I would want it to be hello there, but I love that line too much that I would get sick of it. And I don't want to do that. Forks is so much better than the figures. I feel like they're kind of on par. Which one, in your opinion, is best for money? That's a good question. I will come back to that at the end because we're about to have the worst value for money. It's just Hedwig but red with and with a phoenix head. <laughs> yeah, true. That's why I think that I like the buildable figures better. So it's underneath. Bellatrix could have bought the bathroom with all the money she spent so far. <laughs> true, actually. Yeah, I'm in agreement with Penn. If it what if the build of like the body wasn't so similar to Hedwig, I would say that this is better. So if I pre-ordered these, where it will be delivered on June first or after? Unfortunately, Alfie, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be after. Ash was saying he pre-ordered Carnage and it hasn't shipped yet, and that one's now out on sale. But at least if you pre-order them, you know that they're gonna arrive. Like I think back to last year, and for us when they launched, it was only at Lego stores and Lego.com for June and then they were widely available in July. They were impossible to get in June. Like nah, they were sold out, did not restock once and even the restock was actually a back order. And then when they did finally arrive in July, it was like halfway through July and they sold out really quickly. It was, it was wild. My carnage has not arrived yet and I pre-ordered it. Damn, that sucks. I wonder how far backed up they are. Pre-ordering does secure you a set though. Exactly. That's the point. If you really want it on release day, if possible, if your restrictions allow it, go to the Lego store. Otherwise, pre-order if you're not too fast because at least it's secured. But yeah, I can see people skipping out on forks just to save money. And fair enough, if you want to do that, but once again, if this one's up for pre-order, double VIP points. I don't think you could go wrong at that point with Forks. I think it's really good. Does pre-ordering cost any more? No, it does not. Which at the moment is good because double VIP points. And for those in the UK, I will give you my Zavi link or anyone overseas. I don't know actually, would Zavi ship it earlier? Because theoretically they would get it earlier. I don't know. That's a really good question. I do. I have heard of Wicked Bricks, actually. That was a lie. I've seen them. I just probably would never get one. All right. Last set. The Flying Lesson. This, if you live in Australia, don't buy it. 
just, just, just don't. Wait for it to go on sale at Target or Maya or Big W or Amazon even should do a really good deal on this. Don't pay full price for this if you're in Australia. If you live anywhere else, ratings, oh damn it, sorry. Back to Forks. Forks, I'd say eight and a half. I think it's better than Hogsmeade, but only by a tiny bit. Hogsmeade could have been better. How much for Forks? Forks is 70. 70 Australian? Six, is it 50 US? I can't remember. All that information is just wiped from my head. Forks is 100 out of 10. Too true. Better than Hogsmeade. How dare you, Asian. Only two buildings. Think of what it could have been if it was bigger. I'm buying two flying sets when it's on sale. Thank you, Claire. That brings me to another point. I do want two of these. But, right? Think about it this way. If I was, if I paid full price for these in Australia, that's $100. Okay? I could get two flying, no, for an extra $10, I could buy the chess set. So I could either get two flying lessons or for an extra $10, buy the chess set. Which do you think that I'm going to pick here, people? It's going to be the chess set. It obviously feels like more value. $50 for this in Australia is ridiculous. Otherwise, I think the set is really nice. Like, I love the Madame Hooch figure. Draco's back in his robe. So technically, that's a Diagon Alley exclusive Draco Malfoy figure in a cheap set. The Hogwarts crest Nexo Knight pieces look really nice. You get Neville. I mean, I've, I've already made myself a young Neville, but it's another robe, which I'm a big fan of. You also get the Golden Snitch. It's the return of the Golden Snitch. Oh, my God, you became a member. Oh, my God. Thank you. Why is Quirrell there? He's so overrated. Quirrell, yeah, yeah, that's another thing. Quirrell doesn't fit in this in this set at all. The back of it as well, half of the build's empty. So, like, look at that bottom section. It's just got some broomsticks. Come on, Bellatrix. Bellatrix is not alert. Oh my gosh, people, thank you very much. Steady on though. Bellatrix, zero for overpriced. I mean, I'm going to rate it low for that reason. Jack, thank you for the $5. I'm in class right now, but did you notice that it says on the box three random tiles included in regards to the chocolate frog cards? I did. I rate this so for overpriced. But that still makes me wonder. I, like, I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be like video where it's like if I bought two of these, they would be the same or if they'd be different or if they just say random. I'm in class right now, but did you notice yet? that it I'm says on the box sure is yet, three wait, random tiles included in regards to the chocolate frog cards? <gasps> Michael, did you buy the tier there? I can put you in the mock. Did you read through the tiers properly though and buy the wrong one? Because that would be embarrassing. Make sure you reply to the post on the, um, the members page. <laughs> but yeah, look at this build. It's like the bottom section where the brooms are, that's, in, that's pretty much entirely empty. The trophy cabinet looks nice. The brooms, love. Remember all piece, love. But then again, I bought the one from 2001, so I've got my own one for me anyway. Like... It's 30 US, is it 30 US dollars? I think it is. Let me, let me double check that. It should be 30 US dollars. But like, I just wanna, just wanna double check that one. So it's 50 Australian. Cause I think for, if it's, if it's 30 US dollars. Okay, it is 30 US dollars. So for my US fans, followers, US community out here, I would, I would get it. It's the five dollar one, right? I think so. I think, yeah. I made I made it roughly the same price as the CMF, so that I could buy all the pieces. Should be twenty dollars in my opinion, maybe twenty five. Well, they never really do twenty five dollar sets. I feel like twenty is a bit low, personally, because it's got that slightly higher piece count. So thirty makes sense in Austra in US. Forty Canadian. See, if ours was forty, then it would be worth it. So Vince, I feel like it's good for you. Excuse me, um, but I'd like to know if I'm in your mock. Bellatrix, have you replied to the page? Because I want to know, do you want the Bellatrix, like, a replica of the Bellatrix figure <laughs> as a student? Or do you want, like, your own thing? 
That's the question. <laughs> Michael. Come on, Brian. Yeah, Bellatrix, you got to reply um, to the community. Excuse me, posts, but I, I would remember. like to know but if I am I was in thinking your about mock it, I was like, Even if she's not a member, you've donated enough that I want to put you in the mock anyway. Because I want to do, I want to put everyone that like is a member inside my little potions room when I finally finish it. And then like, because I put Asian in the thumbnail. I don't know. I know he noticed. April 20th, it ends. Then pre-order now. I want young Bellatrix. I know. I'll do like the young repeat face since I have so many of them at this point from buying so many figures. And then I'll buy myself another um, Bellatrix hair piece. Bellatrix, what house are you going to be in? If you say Slytherin, I'll give you some of the new robe pieces that we have. You can look fancy and all dapper like. Thanks, Bellatrix. I want young donation. Bellatrix. We love Bellatrix here. Not just because she gives me money. She's a loyal fan. <laughs> but also, I really appreciate your donations. It means a lot to me because it means I can buy this stupid overpriced set. Because it's 50 Australian dollars. <laughs> Honestly, if I don't get something from land, I expect a review on this in like July. Or August. Like, I'm not paying $50 for that. I'm going to wait for it to go on sale. Like, I'm sorry. I have to leave at 6.35. I'm, I'm almost done, I promise. Slytherin? All right. You can have a rope piece, Bellatrix. I want to reuse some of these rope pieces from this set. Actually, you know what, Bellatrix? All your donations has funded this set. You can have Draco's robe. I'll swap out the face and the hair and make you. Congratulations. I mean, for the face, technically, I do, Michael. This specifically. Yeah. Look, this set's cool, but like, I'm just, I'm not paying full price for that. So in total, this is going to be my ranking, right? Number one, I think for me, is the Chamber of Secrets. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Yes, I wish it could be cheaper, but I think if you just wanted to buy one set and have the Hogwarts Castle, like, this is it. I mean, it's still the Great Hall, I think, because the figure selection, like, you get all the main characters. So I think it would go, like, in total, out of all the Harry Potter sets, Great Hall, then the Chamber of Secrets. That That's it. I feel like this is one of the best ones that we've gotten. Are the Wizard Cards actual Lego tiles? They are. They are two by two printed tiles. At least I hope they're printed. That set is awful. Don't be mean, Jiggle My Jam. It's a great set. I know it's not for everyone, but for me, it's amazing. Astronomy Tower in the background. I know, right? How good. So for me, Chamber of Secrets, best set out of this wave. Then, oops, that is very zoomed in. <laughs> Whoopsies, I forgot to shrink this back down. Oh no, now I'm moving myself again. Ah! Jolly, thank you so much for becoming a member as well. I think, I'm pretty sure that's the Sig Fig one as well. So pretty please respond to the community post. <laughs> so I can put you in there too. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys, for becoming members. I really, it means a lot to me. Thank you. Especially since I woke up early for this. <laughs> I set an alarm. <laughs> yeah, number two. Bellatrix, don't be mean. Thank you for the $4. <laughs> the cards are question marks. What do you mean? Oh, right. They're going to be printed. But, like, they're just doing that because it's a surprise right now. Even I have no idea what they're going to be. I love the robe. No. No. It, no, we don't like the robe. Brian, are you going to kick in any time now? Thank you. You woo. I really want to know what that sounded like. I want to go back and watch. <laughs> I love, yeah, I like this. So it's just a shame that there's no Ron. So this is number two. Number, number three. Hogsmeade. Could have been higher if it was bigger, but I love it. It's something we've never gotten before at all. So it's the most unique set out of this wave. And it means as well that I can have like Hogsmeade in between like my castle and like the Muggle world. I What I think would really tie this in for me is if we get a Hogsmeade station in the future with like a redone Hogwarts Express. That way I can have like this whole like transition between like muggle world to like wizarding world to hogwarts i think that'll be really fun the hogsmeade number three number four forks this it's so pretty oh, i didn't even show the back of the box look his head moves um forks the color scheme is amazing hey kai 
Teresa judging my choices. I mean, fair enough. Everyone's got different opinions. This is just my opinion. So, here we go. Why is Chamber of Secrets Ron with Prisoner of Har Azkaban Harry Boxer? I'm pretty sure that Harry, that's a Harry from the Order of, I think they're all Order of the Phoenix, but Ron looks especially young. <laughs> and I think that's the problem. Forks, yeah, Forks is beautiful. I want a Grimmauld play set. Same here. Same here. Forks, beautiful. How many have I done? One. All right, next up, we've got the chess set. Amazing. Probably going to be a skip for a lot of people, but I think that in general, this set is better value than the next three. Now, oh wait. Never mind, change that. Number, f wait, how many have we done? Four. Number five is actually the bathroom. Change of plans. Bathroom is number five. Number six is the chess set. Purely because, like, the bathroom, like, it's a little room. It's really good value. Chess set, also, I think, good value, but, like, a lot less appealing. Then, purely because this set is better value if you're in like the UK, Canada, the US. This one is good value. For us in Australia, this value sucks, which is why it's so low on my list. I like it. It's just too much for me to justify. For other people, I feel like it's a lot better. Okay, guys, I know Ron's creepy. If Ron scares you, we don't have to look at him. Okay, we can we can look at the the other corner and admire the 20th anniversary logo. I love my peach emote. That just reminded me, guys. Thank you for putting that in the chat. Even my emote. Don't I look adorable? I think I need to increase the thickness on the lines, though. The box for the 2018 Great Hall is in the background of the Astronomy Tower. It's great. See? Ash, close enough. Then, lastly, the worst set for me in this wave is the fluffy one. It's just, it's overpriced. The build's bland. The figures aren't particularly exciting. As much as I love robe pieces, for a lot of people, it's not that great. It's my least favorite. But also, something I do want to point out is, look at the difference between this box and this box. So this one's a 20th anniversary box, and it's got, like, the golden spell. And then we go to Forks, which is just a regular set. Has a blue one. I thought that would, uh, I thought that was a little nice little touch there. Fluffy has two and a three quarter heads. And that's another reason why I don't like it. Yeah, so first for me, Chamber Secrets. Last, Fluffy. I agree, title in progress. They're really, really cute. So let me know. What do you all think? And if you want a summary of all of these thoughts, please go watch my video. <laughs> please. <laughs> Do you think they can redo the pop-up book and change the front sticker to Beetle and Bard and do the Tale of the Three Brothers with Buildable Death and the bridge and the Inflope Invisibility? I can see that being a thing, but I don't think they would ever do it because of the fact that that whole story centers around the idea of death. I definitely don't think they would build the death character. I think that's just too far for Lego to go. You did not waste $5, Michael. I have to permanently make you as a minifigure now. Do more Kahoot. I will do more Kahoot, but I want to make my own quizzes, but we will return to Kahoot in the future. I want to do one on my main channel just full of Harry Potter trivia though one day. That'll be fun. Are you going to stream on the gaming channel tonight? I'm not entirely sure. I think so, but I don't know yet because I've got two or three videos that I want to film. I also want to take a nap because I'm tired. I did do Kahoot Jenna. I did a build stream yesterday before Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And then afterwards we went onto my gaming channel and did Kahoot. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But at the same time, I feel like I'm going to have to um, work on that <laughs> and make sure I pre-pick out some quizzes. I do have to make you as a minifigure too, Jolly. So let me know on that community post, you guys. Do members get figures of themselves or something? Yes, if you buy, I think it's it's the second tier or something, one of the tiers and up, if you buy that, then I will buy your pieces to make a sig figure of you. And then I'm gonna put everyone on like a shelf in my like Hogwarts display. And then when I do like things like my little potions mock back there, I'm gonna populate the entire classroom with all of the members, plus the random students, just to 
make it all up. Do you think you can mix these sets with the 2020 wave? You can. There are Technic pieces on the sides. If you're worried about the roof color, you will need to swap it out or you can just combine it. So overall, I'm really, really happy with this wave. I think it's surprised me. I didn't think it was going to be as good as it actually is, which is good. I'm really, I'm really happy. Overall, I'm excited to mix it all together. I've got like some good videos planned where I do like a, um, I'll do one of like the entirety of the new Hogwarts, like all connected in different variations. I want to also do a video where I combine it with all of the 2018 stuff and even like elements of my Hogwarts mock, I think will be really fun. Um, I want to do some comparison videos as well, but the problem is I don't own a lot of the original sets. So unfortunately I can't do a Chamber of Secrets comparison, can't do a third floor corridor comparison. Thank you so much Kai for becoming a member. Where's the little bonk? Come on. Come on. She just renamed the stream to Holly Waits for Brian to say things, even though Brian's not going to say anything now, but we're going to hear the bonk. Oh, okay, I'm just going to move on. The bonk sound effect will happen, but thank you so much, Kai. <laughs> Please type your sick fig in as well. I, like I said, hopefully Len will send me these sets so that I can review them early for us all, which will be a lot of fun. Yay, Kai. Because I, I really want to build them. I want And when they do, I, I will do a haul, <laughs> unpacking all of them. I don't think I'll be able to do build streams of them because of the review embargoes, but I will get them out as soon as possible for you guys so that we can all look at them together. That way I can hopefully save you money. The bong rip, did it not work? Damn it. The bonk. <laughs> bonk. Okay, that was not Grogu abuse, fake squid. Shh. Yeah, I really want to get them so that I can help you guys save money because this wave is expensive. I doubt a lot of people are going to be able to buy every single set because I know definitely if I was in it, if I wasn't making videos and reviewing sets, I would definitely be buying these a lot more spread out and not all at once. Maybe not even everything at all. So I do want to do that. I'll do a video as well of me kind of going through which ones I think are the best value and like talking through like a buying guide as well, as well as how to pre-order and things like that. Maybe I should do this this weekend while double VIP points is on probably. Grogu is not being suffocated. He's fine. He's fine. Okay. Thank you all so much for tuning into my live stream and discussing these sets with me. I had a really f What? What, Ash? What is it? You can get double VIP points with pre-orders. Apparently so. That's what chat is telling me. That's what I'm saying, Ash, is like, high key, just in case we don't get offered it, I feel like it would be a good idea to order some of the sets. I mean, I can't pre-order them, so like, it's not going to benefit me. Like, I would just have to show up to the store on release day anyway, but could be a good idea specifically for like fluffy and the quidditch set if you're able to order them because i know you wanted multiples in land i trust <laughs> look i trust them too they told me that they'd put me down for harry potter it's literally in my username so like and every time i talk to someone they always describe me with harry potter if i can get in with star wars surely surely pretty please I haven't heard anything yet though, so it's concerning. <laughs> it's concerning. But yes, should be a fun weekend. I do want to do another Hogwarts build stream soon, but considering I wake up early today, not too sure that I want to stay up late tonight or tomorrow to build it. So maybe we'll just delay it till next week. I also got a surgery update video coming soon. When are we getting Percy? I have no idea, Luke. Also, looking at all the figures on the boxes, you bet that I have, you bet that I'm doing a fixing the figures video. I've got a list planned already. So now that all of the figures have been revealed, I'm going to write them all down. And I will do that as well when I have the sets. So like you might not get it. It's I haven't been offered it at the moment. So at the moment, yes, I might not get it. But pretty please. I'm making a Kahoot on Lego Harry Potter. Chicken my gym. That was my idea. Punk. 200 question kahoot? Ew, that's a, that's a long time. No, he doesn't. That's his right ear. He makes no noise. He's just happy to be here. He's just chilling. I want to go get breakfast now. Then I might take a nap. 
Hope you all have a great day. Check out my recap video. Check out my rumor video talking about the brick heads as well as the D2C and the Quidditch pack if you haven't already. Do you want me to make one and send it to you? Make one what, Asian? Make one what? A Kahoot. Oh no. Uh, if you want to make a Kahoot, please submit them to me so then we have more to play. But I will try and make my own ones as well so that we can all do it. That's $5 down the drain. Shut up, Michael. <laughs> Thank you all so much. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Actually, I'm starting to get warm now. Who wants to see my cool Harry Potter shirt before I go? Because I am getting hot and want to take off my hoodie. Because, like, I got, I got full dressed. I was ready. I'll put this on for another video, but today is not that video. Mm. See? Look how cool. I was, all, I was all ready. I was ready to go. But it was cold this morning. Maybe I'll film another video of Harry Potter theme so I can literally just wear this shirt and then, because especially because I've done my hair, like I feel like I need to take full advantage of that. All right. How dare you not wear that? It was cold, Asian, and now it's warm because I shut my window. <laughs> I love this shirt. Look, it says Potter at the back as well. Eh. Look at that. How cool is that? It's the same style as my Sith shirt, so that's a lot of fun. Anyway, thank you all. I'm actually leaving now. Thanks for chilling with me. Thank you, Bellatrix, for your thousands of donations. Thank you to my new members. Thank you to anyone who donated. I love you all. Wear the shirt over the hoodie. I mean, it's probably enough space. I'll keep that in mind next time. Have a great day. Love you all. Bye, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me.